Welcome back. Today we will talk about how you make a great offensive, how you actually might throw your troops and how to plan for this offensive and how to make it work and how you really execute it. So I hope you will enjoy this as much as I will. And I will start talking about front lines and how to short key your micro troops. The first thing you're gonna do is to make a front line. I usually take my all my infantry and just make a front line. This is not the infantry I will do the heavy microing with. This is the infantry I will use to fill up the lines, be, take a defensive position so I can micro my troops forward and make the attacks I want to. Uh, so I make that front line uh, by pushing the Z button and just make an offensive line like this. The offensive line makes my unit start planning. So if I need to use my infantry, we will get planning. The next step I really want to do, this is my two micro units. This is good tanks. This is starting tanks I got from the 1939 save. So this is uh, kind of shit, but they are fast and I can use uh, quick units uh, to an advantage. So what we want to do is we want to take area defense in Sweden where I don't want to fight. This means that they won't be stuck to the front line, so I can micro them as much as I want and still get planning bonus as soon as I stand in front of the front line. So that will help us a great deal when microing these troops, because this is the troops I will use. What I want to do, I want to make the two parts of this. I'm gonna take these and these two and just press control one, so I have a short key. We'll make a push for Lvov. I will show you later what the plan is. Uh, and we will take these guys and make them number two. Uh, so I will go with them to that part. So we're starting to get the troops in position. And what I realize now is that we have bad supply in these troops. So what we want to do at least with these guys are giving them motorization priorities so we get more supply see if things will change up we have 93 percent yeah that's that's kind of all right i think we can go from there so then we got the planning bonus you see here it's ticking up but they're not stuck on the front line so that's really good we have checked our checked our fuel and our supply so the fuel are ex is extremely important so you don't lose fuel on your uh tank units and i have good tanks here as i said and we have some shit tanks here just to have some more speed and to have some fun with and i think i will use them just to uh, cover my advance so i'll get them over there so i have them uh, what i want to look at now is the terrain map mode when i find it so i'm gonna go with tanks tanks are good at attacking planes so looking at the plane map mode here uh, we see that there's a lot of planes here that we can fight in uh, if we want, we can also look at the Soviet Union, how much tanks they are building. They're building a little bit of tanks, but I would say I have a lot more uh, troops uh, in tanks. So I will be in the, in the good fighting in the planes. So I want to concentrate a push here. And the next thing I want to see is where do I have the supply hubs? Supply is extremely important. You need to have supply and you want to cut the enemy supply. So when looking here for planning an attack, I see we have a good uh, uh, hub here that we want to take. I also see that for the southern front line, the first parts, we have one here, we have one here. Those two are supplying everything in this pocket. So if I can make a push here and run for this supply hub, I will take away the supply for this entire pocket, which is good because this is a lot of mountains. So if they don't have supply, it will be a lot easier. So, and if I take this one, uh, I will remove a lot of supply in this area also. So we will have a easier part of taking them. The next part I want to do, I want to take these two and from this part going through the railways so I can connect this one to my supply network and this one to my supply network so I have a good supply. I'm gonna go down this way since I have tanks. I don't have any marines this time so otherwise I would probably make an attack here just to take the ports. But from here I could just go down and take Odessa and this port uh, and we will surround them and we will supply starve them. And they have uh, some supply hubs here but this one is 
pretty far away so i guess they will be out of supply in this line in a bit a little bit uh, at least and the last thing i want to do in the planning part is to look at the air map mode i i'm gonna go in here so i want to concentrate all my air power uh, air superiority close air support in these zones uh, I have a, an overstacked airport there. I don't want to have overstacked airports. That's not good for me. Put them there. Uh, I will take these ones. Do the same thing. Go in. Uh, I will take them in the Ukraine because I'm going to move there pretty soon. These one can even fill up here. And I have some uh, fighters here. I can put them to Easter Poland also since I don't have airports down here. And not that m as much as I would. We can take them there from Bucharest Airport. So we will have some air cover, and that will give us even more bonuses together with uh, the planning bonus that I have built up. So the 43% extra planning bonus would be really good. And as soon as I stop, they will start building planning again. We don't need the front line because I made the planning bonus exploit, which is really, really good. So we're starting to get ready, but what we really need to realize is what do we want to accomplish here? Uh, for a big country as the Soviet Union, victory points is not important in the beginning. What we want to do is kill as many food troops as we can. So to do that, we can go for small surrounds, we can go and we can go for bigger surrounds. Going for small surrounds, I would just invade here, go just a few units in and destroy one two units perhaps go here cut them off destroy a couple of units and do that over and over again uh, or you can go for bigger attacks and this will be a bigger attack since i'm gonna go and try to encircle everything down here uh, because i have the speed necessary to make this big surround so this is the plan and i will have supply and i will have speed but the other way to do it is just to go in, take perhaps this supply hub, go down here, kill a few units, take another little surround, and just go and surround and surround and surround. And it really depends on how much stronger you are than the opponent. If you can attack at multiple vectors, multiple places, uh, you could go for bigger surrounds. If you're not that much stronger, if you're perhaps equally strong, you might want to just peel off a little bit of their army, making you stronger, 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 and when you're really strong, you can just run over them. But we want to kill troops, and that's what we're going for right now. A victory points is not important at all. We need to kill troops, and we need to take supply so we can kill more troops. That's the objective. So we have surrounds as one objective, cutting supply is another, another objective, and in the end, taking up victory points. And if you're going for a small country, if you're gonna go to, say, kill Switzerland, yeah, just go for the victory points. It will be easy. It's a small country. Uh, even Turkey, it could be viable to just go for the victory points, take the victory points, and they will be capitulated. But for a big country like the Soviet Union, we can't just rush Moscow and think we will end this. We need to take it a little bit slower. But that was the preparing. Now we're going over to the fun part. We're gonna take the Soviet Union, we're gonna micro, we're gonna kill them, and uh, we will call our friends to help us. So, what happens now? We're gonna go in. Uh, we want to take Lvov at first, so let's take Lvov like that. Uh, I want to cut off Koval also, so why not go in with these troops? Uh, I don't want to attack through the river, so we can take them that way. Uh, I'm going in with hard troops. Oh. Ah, I forgot. To, that's, that's a really important part. That's a really important part. You can't play at 5 speed. 5 speed is really ridiculous. Perhaps even go down to 2 speed, see what happens. Uh, so we're going for Lvov. I want to take the supply map mode. We're gonna just rush down here and take Venetia. Uh, make sure that we have troops following along. Uh, now we need our uh, our infantry. Yeah, Bulgaria, come, come, come. Uh, what I will do now, I have these five units. Uh, something I like is split and attack. Yes, split and go forward. So I will leave two guys there. And the other ones are going forward. I can split again, go forward again. Uh, 
we have more troops here we can move in so we don't get stuck behind there we don't want that and as you see we're going for Venezia. our uh, supply is really really bad but since we were quick we will take it they haven't gotten the time to reinforce yet so we're going we're going we're going Venezia is ours uh, we need to pause now for a while and you will see now that we have this supply hub this supply hub is just taken so we don't have uh, supplies there yet so we need to wait until we got these supplies and we need to reinforce here to make sure we don't get uh, killed in any way at all so we need the supplies there and when we have supplies there and we have some infantry coming in uh, we can start doing another fun stuff and as you see here they're taking attrition now they don't feel good being in there uh, they're in a pickle and if we want to now we see here we're really close to actually uh, taking uh, taking them out uh, we can just actually go in and make a nice pocket out of that uh, we still have a supply problem but i think we can take these infantry uh, just to kill them oh i was supposed to i was supposed to support attack i did not uh, we want to go fast now so they don't regain organization and as you see here we need to go over this river which we have a kind of a hard time doing uh, as we see up here i didn't notice we have an airport we don't want an airport in the enemy hands so let's quickly go and take the airport uh, here we have the possibility to actually pull them off as you see they want to reinforce that tile so we can pin them down so they can't uh, and hopefully we'll take that tile. Oh, that's a lot of units perhaps we don't need to let's hold that bot and just take this tile instead and then we can pin them down here so they can't escape so what happens now we're still waiting for supply here we really need that connection and you see we have the train tracks running all the way but until we get that connection we're not gonna move any way further but we see the entire front here they have too much units they have too little supply when i go down and cut this off and it will be pretty easy since they have they're taking attrition uh, this will be really nice oh. These are the tanks who haven't even used them yet, so we can take them to the front line. Uh, I'm just playing with them right now. I needed two tanks for this and a few motorized units. We just wait to have some supply connection from the capital. As you see here, we have a new, nice pocket here, so we can start clearing it out. I'm not making too much fuss about this. We're just, just going in and killing them off. Uh, of course we want to take that airport when we can and we're gonna wait for that supply hub to to get the supply it needs so let's make it a little bit quicker and wait for the supply connection to the capital there we have the supply connection we're gonna pause and we're gonna prepare for the next part of the offensive going down here but before we go any further, me and Badger release a new guide every Monday on this channel, ranging from micro to economy to air, naval, everything. We also have our amazing studio that cast our multiplayer games, and last game was a really close one. Both teams were pretty sure they were going to win. Please check it out, the conclusions are, the conclusion are amazing. And of course for our uh, beloved Patreons who release a new guide every second Thursday and next Thursday it's bad year and I'm pretty sure it will be amazing. And for the Patreons there's a lot of other good stuff out there as well and we have our great uh, Patreon archive with a lot of guides and other stuff. Uh, I think we're up to 14-15 guides right now and more coming. So please check that out and we're gonna continue to crush the Soviet Union. And as you see, now we have both tanks here. I forgot about the other unit of tanks. We didn't need them. So now we're gonna go down here. And as you see, they have bad supply. And this will really show when attacking here. Uh, we're auto saving. They have minus 24% attack and minus 10% defense. And we can 
and we can do as much as support attack here to really make sure that we're going through and now we have free rain going down uh, you see there they want to reinforce we can stop them just by pinning them there pinning is really really important and now we're going down and we're gonna need some of the motorized to reinforce there we can go all the way down to odessa here we have troops they're moving in there is nothing stopping us right now we can uh, make that tank go over the river here just to make sure that it will be easier to take the port since the port will be behind the river and our tanks are not the best going over rivers now we have supply here again i really love supply and we're gonna cut their supply uh, by going here what we can do is just reinforce here go over the river as i did here we're gonna reinforce here also so make sure that the front lines are secured we're gonna have our units going in there just try to clear up this pocket uh, here we go we take the tanks over here so we have uh, we don't need to go over the river now the tanks are winning and we can take the supply up here won't be a problem we can reinforce there and they're gone and they're dead so here we go. Oh, I'll support attack. I should support attack even more. And what we can do is go up now here and take the airport just for fun. And we have two big pockets. They're gonna die a lot. Uh, they don't have the strength to actually kill us. As you see here, they are taking attrition everywhere since we have taken the supply hubs. And it hurts them a lot. You see here, minus 23% attack. That's why our offense defensive line will hold even better and we're just killing them off having some having some fun with the game uh, and we had a successful offensive what i forgot was moving along the air force which i should do always uh, but anyways uh, that is how you actually attack and might do your troops be sure to really make the follow-up with troops to de defend but you don't need much. You saw me doing most of the, the heavy lifting with two free tanks and a couple of motorized. I was planning to play with these guys, but it wasn't really needed. So yeah, that's the micro part of it. And really, really important is this connecting of supply hubs. As you see here, I have advanced along the railway. Along the railway, so every supply hub is connected. So this supply hub can get supplies up from Odessa and it can get supplies that way and planning the next part of the offensive I sh wouldn't go here it's far away from my supply hub so the next part should go to Shitomir and perhaps to Kiev and if you see if we take these two supply hubs uh, we start cutting the supply off in the westward direction here and uh, they don't have any supply hubs nearby which mean they will be supply starved and we will have good supply so that would be the next move for me here S continue fighting here down in the plains where my armor is as as the, as strong as it can be so to recap the first part of a successful offensive is front lines and short key your micro troops the second part is the prepare stage where you prepare to for the planning bonus so you have the planning bonus exploit you prepare so you have fuel and supply for your troops uh, that you know the terrain you're fighting in and that you start concentrating all your air power to the main objective area so you concentrate it where you're gonna attack uh, the third part is thinking about what is the objective uh, usually it is to make big or small surrounds to really really take out your enemy but it could also be taking victory points but always if you're not able to take victory points and win at first uh, sight uh, you need to take supply hubs because when you take supply hubs they will get less supply and they will have to retreat with, the un with their units or they will have too few supply to be really effective in battle uh, so cu cutting supply is really important 
And when you're actually attacking, you need to micro, you need to slow down the speed. Don't try to micro at the five speed. I micro that speed too. It will still be more efficient and take less uh, real time because you will actually do something that works. When you start attacking, I like to split an attack. So I go in with a few units and especially the covering units like the motorized that I had to have those units that are quick to really, really go before the enemy are able to react. Uh, so crushing them with tanks, going in with uh, motorized, it doesn't need to be a good unit. You need to have defense and organization just to stop them before infantry can flood in and really take the... Uh, the brunt of the attacks coming but if you play with quick units there it will take a while before they have actually a front line to begin with if you look here they have a few units down here because they haven't been able to react and put, pull a lot of forces in there and the beautiful part with fast units that i really really love is that your offensives will not take a lot of time uh, we start the 15th of august uh, we play this a little bit for fun, uh, and in 22 days or something like that, we have this pocketed, we have taken a lot of supply hubs, we have a great uh, vantage point to advance more. Uh, if we would have slowed this down a little bit, I could have taken these tanks to do something more. This was not the most effective assault you can do, if you really put your mind to it and not uh, trying to record at the same time. You have the possibility to micro even further and kill even more so there's a lot of openings here these 10 tanks i'm pretty sure will be able to uh go ah it wasn't supposed to go there but just go in here if we rank up to speed they could have gone in here and we could have made a surround up here if we wanted to they wouldn't be able to react in time so when playing for fun <laughs> you're playing for fun uh and it was another surround, a couple of days uh, that we could have done much earlier. Uh, and as you see, since they're so fast, they're, they don't have to really, they don't really have time to react. And yeah, that was the five things. Frontline, short key uh, was the first one. Prepare your attack. Uh, think about the third thing, the three objectives, what you want to do, surround, cutting supply or take victor points. Uh, the fourth part is actually attacking, microing, splitting an attack, and uh, going for uh, the right objectives that you set out before. And the fifth part is connecting enemy supply hub. And but with that said, I hope you have enjoyed this. I really love making micro guides. That's the best part of the game, actually going in there, getting the feel, love playing with tanks and just killing your enemy units. So I enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the channel. Uh, check out every other guide we have please check out the studio and our amazing gang there uh, sending you live our multiplayer games where we fight off in epic axis versus ally historical scenarios uh, and there's a new one coming up and if you haven't seen it yes check our library and our playlist and you will find our previous games uh, but with that said i will see you guys next time